Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do right now. Yep, absolutely no idea. But I just came up with what I'm going to do. This is the Nostromo. You know, as in the ship from Alien. Yeah. D -d -d it's that's right, it's in Kerbal Space Program, so, I mean, that's freaking awesome. There's a piece of something I was working on just sitting over there. Let's see, okay, so, throttle up, and SAS on, and actually throttle down. Yep, because the rear engines are on by default. Oops, just sliding along the ground. Yeah, this thing isn't designed to slide along the ground. So, you have to hit Z to switch to these engines, because, yes, you have a key to switch engines. Look at these landing gear. I love the animations for these landing gear. Wait, oh, okay, there we go. See? Landing gear are just beautiful on this thing. Anyhow, as you can see, we're uh, going straight up. This thing has a ton of fuel. I mean, you could just... You could go forever with this thing. But um, we're going to turn on the RCS, we're going to turn off the SAS, we're going to hit Z a couple of times. And now we're going to turn it back on. And we're going to go up. Up a lot. Up very muchly so. Just like launching any other spacecraft, you got to go... Uh, much. I wish there was a, J a way to randomly eject random parts of this thing. That'd be fun. It's too bad you can't use this thing alongside regular parts, though, because basically everything on this ship is extremely underweight and underpowered. But because it's designed to be entirely used with itself, it works out perfectly. To combine it with other things, it's uh, not so much. Let's do it. Let's do a stunt. Just because we can. Let's do a backflip. No, what? Why can't I hit X on the engines? It makes no sense. Okay, I guess we're going into orbit this way. Even though I started going the other way first. We don't need to worry about being efficient with our fuel. This thing has enough fuel to last fucking forever. The engines use it up so slowly. You know what I feel like doing? That's a smart idea, right? Right? Yeah, but this thing has plenty of fuel and you can do whatever with it, so I mean, there's not really a point to me doing this. So instead, I think I will land it. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. falling close enough to straight down, I think. Now he just gotta fall. Which unfortunately is gonna take a while. Do 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 Oh, we actually are falling towards the ground very fast. I 
don't know how quickly this thing can stop when it's falling. So, it's a bit of an experiment here. Oh, geez, turning off the SAS and it starts pitching downwards. Let's get upright. Come on. There we go. Close enough. Do you think I should use some more fuel and keep from dying? Do you think I should just smash into the ground? This thing's coming down so fast. Yay, we only broke off, uh, let's see, one engine and some RCS, two RCS units. Yep. Of course, that one engine is uh, kind of necessary to get off the ground again. So that is a small bit of a hassle. Come on, pull up, pull up, pull up, you're going to go down. Come on up. Oh, that's bad. Still flying. Oh wait, no. It's stuck in the ground somehow. Oh, there we go. Now it's moving again. But as you can see, this thing can bounce around quite a bit without getting destroyed. So, for my next trick, I decided to create a plane using missile parts as its only form of thrust. Oh yeah, and that's a mech jeb pod, but I'm not going to be using mech jeb. I just chose it because it looks nice. And it's like an unmanned flight, so I'm not risking any lives. <gasps> lives. Okay, so here we go again. Let's see if this thing is able to survive. Let's see, precision controls, throttle doesn't matter, but I'm turning it up anyhow. Survive. My game's so laggy because there's so many of them everywhere. Okay. There we go. We're alright. Well, no we're not. But, I'm gonna pretend we are. Even though we're gonna hit the ground. I mean the water. Quite fast. Like that. Well. That was fun. I feel like it wouldn't be appropriate of me to say see you in space when I'm not doing anything space related. So I'm going to go make something out of missiles in the VAB. I'm bad with names. Just just deal with it, okay? Uh, isn't she a beauty? Alright, I accidentally took a screenshot. Let's launch it. Okay, full throttle. Let's turn on the SAS. Now we gotta keep it pointed going up. Ah, stop lagging. Why are you lagging? Oh, this is annoying. Hold on, I got this. There we go. Shouldn't approve now. Except the view isn't as good. But oh well, we can deal with it. Let's turn on precision controls, not tab. I just like a tab. those. Now we just got the single booster. Wow. That was scary. Why am I pointing?
backwards. Should be pointing this way. No, stop it. And I'm gonna run out of fuel pretty quickly here. And I was using this tiny little McJeb radial decoupler thing because I thought it looked nice. So yeah, let's see, that that's a suborbital hop going pretty much down. Going up there. It's nice. It's a nice suborbital hop. We going up and going back down. Oh, it's beautiful. Makes me wish I had a parachute. No, I'm just kidding. I got a parachute. Why wouldn't I have a parachute? I'm not an idiot. And... There we go. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Let's go out for a walk. We... I better not slip off of this thing. That would suck. Let's get back in, just in case. Yeah, you don't want to watch another boring return trip, do you? Yeah, me neither.